you're here to survive the still bastion. These enemies can be killed with just one hit. Note that you shouldn't dash when fall bots fall, since they'll hurt you. Instead, smash them into enemies and their projectile attack becomes friendly. I prioritized prisms and devils, since they caused me the most problems. I didn't mind leaving the jello mobs around, since their bullets move so slowly that I could just smash them at enemies. The lock prisms attack cannot be smashed. You'll need to dodge, find cover, or stun them ASAP. Luckily, they get batted around easily, allowing you to smash them into other enemies. Their armor makes them hard to take down with ranged weapons though. Try to keep the ancient devil low to the ground. When flashing without an exclamation, move away as it spawns a circle of bullets. Then jump in and smash them back. The Omega Prism Bot forces you to float around to survive the spinning laser attack. Keep slashing to slow down your descent and use dashes to reposition. It's best to keep this guardian close to the center to give you space to move around and avoid its spinning lasers. When facing the primitive hardened devil, use the terrain to avoid the torrent of bullets. Try not to push this guardian too far far away since he gives you limited time to smash when he gets his exclamation. You can use a well-timed dragon punch to feed his bullets back to him. The Candle Mask Judge has two blind spots in the bottom right and left corners, under these ledges. Most attacks can't get you here. When it starts a laser on an angle, it'll fan the attack up and around, meaning you'll have to hover and fly ahead of the beam. Then get your smash or dragon punch ready since it also pops off a few shots at the end. When it hovers just above the center and has an exclamation, you can smash it to get some extra damage. Wait to smash back bullets or use Charging Fury to regain ammo and some health. Click here to see the next stage, and sub to catch all my guides and funny reviews.